coming up uh, this Sunday and Canberra is the AFL Canberra versus AFL Sydney representative match. Now, this game uh, is one of two that will be held throughout the year, but this one takes on extra importance because uh, it's a chance for some of the girls to showcase their talent before the AFL draft coming up on April 20. And we caught up with the AFL Canberra representative coach in Beck Goddard. And Beck, you've got a big job. You've uh, leading 2-0 against AFL Sydney. Can you keep the streak going for AFL Canberra? Yeah, they've been tight contests in the past um, and we're really looking forward to this weekend. It actually starts uh, the representative fixture before the, the women's competition in Canberra even starts. So uh, I know the girls have been doing a lot of hard work in the pre-season and we're looking forward to a good game this weekend. And how's that been trying to, I guess, get the girls up to some type of match fitness? Because it's not, as you said, it's not a regular club game. This is representative football when typically everything goes up another notch. It really does. And in fact, I think it's probably a really good way to start uh, the fixture off for the year. Um, the girls that we've selected are fit girls. They play a lot of other sports in the off season. Um, and we've selected people that uh, we know have looked after their bodies um, over that time. And they, uh, they've showed up at, at training uh, so, so far, um, you know, committed and, and dedicated and looking forward to, to playing well this weekend. Big weekend as well before we go into uh, your squad. Um, obviously, Queensland have also got an All-Stars game on at the same time. So no doubt uh, uh, some of the staff helping out the Melbourne and uh, Western Bulldogs football clubs will be on hand uh, having a look at what girls could be selected on April 20. Yeah, and we've got talent here in Canberra and in Sydney um, that deserve to be seriously looked at as contenders for that draft game. Um, and I'm glad that we're being taken seriously um, to, to be considered for those spots. Uh, you sent a couple of girls down to uh, Victoria a few weeks ago to take part in the Victorian draft game, and they'll again be pulling on the jumper for uh, AFL Canberra. Interesting to know what you thought of the games of, uh, first of all, Corinna DeMont uh, from Eastlake, who we gave our uh, player of the day to, and uh, also the zippy Heather Anderson from Balconnen. The two of them are sensational players. Um, I've coached uh, Corinna at the Eastlake Football Club for the last three years, um, and she's just an exciting player forward um I, I saw that she played in the victorian game and played a, a role as a as a crumbing forward pocket and uh, heather anderson or heads as we call her here really can play in any position on the field and she's a, a tackling machine so uh the two of them will be doing the role for the act this weekend they won't be the only ones to watch though there's some exciting young talent that we've selected for the weekend so it'll be great Yes, this big game coming against AFL Sydney in the first of uh, two. Uh, let's talk about your, your squad. Um, I was just having a look at the average age. Most of the players obviously uh, born in the um, early 90s. So the average age of the player, I'm guessing, is around about 20, 21. Yeah, in fact, it feels younger than that, or maybe it's because I'm getting older. Uh, we've sort of uh, selected a squad that we think balances um, age and, and skill. Um, but the, the, the exciting thing about the young girls is that they're so unbelievably fast. Um, and sort of the three older girls that we've selected, we need them there to lead the way and show the young girls uh, how representative football's played. And for those, obviously, that are coming along to the game, which is uh, being held on uh, Saturday at uh, Gungarland and closed over, or pardon me, on Sunday, rather, at 11.30am, um, who are some of the key players they should be looking out for? Yeah, well, we've talked about Heather Heather Anderson and um, Karina DeMont, but um, some of the young girls that are going to be really exciting to watch, Jodie Hicks, who also plays cricket. She's an up-and-coming, um, you know, player for, for the Australian, um, on the Australian women's cricket scene. She's really exciting, and we're looking forward to seeing her play in the forward line. Rebecca Mitchell is, is what I consider to be in the top um, five rucks in Australia, um, and she'll be rucking for us this weekend. Um, and we'll have a lot of other girls uh, sort of rotating through some positions, uh, Cassie and, and Kate Reid, um, who are sisters uh, from Goulburn. So they'll be coming through as well, as well as some girls from the Riverina Lions who, who are from Wagga. So we've got a, a, a squad of, of girls who, who play for a lot of different sides in the Canberra competition. Have you managed to get much uh, opposition info on AFL Sydney? <laughs> um, I can't tell you all my secrets. <laughs> Uh, let, let's just name one or two. Who do you think will be one or two of your serious threats that you've got to lock down on on Sunday? Oh, look, I love watching Steph Walker play, and I also love watching Maddie Collier play. In fact, I, I coached uh, Maddie a few years ago in the under-18 New South Wales ACT youth girls side, um, and the two of those girls are really exciting young prospects, and, and I hope to see them do well into the future. 
Now, not only have we got, obviously, the AFL draft coming up on uh, April 20, there's the extra carrot there for some of the ACT players as well, is that there'll be a combined New South Wales ACT side taking on uh, Victoria uh, on the Queen's birthday uh, weekend. What's the process from here for those girls that are not necessarily going for the AFL draft but trying to go for that combined New South Wales ACT side? Yeah, look, as I understand it, um, the coaches from both of this, from both teams this weekend will have a look at that list and uh, talk to whoever's selected as the, as the new head coach for the New South Wales ACT side um, about who should be selected. Um, and I would envisage that they'll have uh, a couple of training camps and, and go forward from there.